Hey, so it's interesting. The family's been away for the past week or so. Um, wedding and Lindsay looking at colleges. And so Lindsay was went out uh, to California to look at a couple colleges and, and to Denver. Um, so they took um, a bunch of extra time to tour uh, a bunch of campuses on the West Coast. Um, and they're flying back from Denver today. Lindsay's a senior this year, and so she's going into college. It's, 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 it's crazy. Um, I feel blessed to, to be here, to be able to see her graduate this year. Um, when I first found out um, of my diagnosis, you know, one of the things I was worried about was even seeing her graduating high school. And so, so I'm doing great. Um, but, you know, now that she's heading out to colleges and she's accepted to um, a bunch of colleges close by on the East Coast and on the West Coast, I've been really struggling with um, wanting her to stay close by, you know, stay on, you know, at least the Amtrak line between Boston and D.C., somewhere in between. There's so many millions of amazing schools. Her mom and I have never really given her any, you know, we always let her find her own path and, and do what she wanted. And, you know, we were, we were set to kind of put our foot down and say, we don't want you far away because of, you know, my health. We wanted you to, to, to be closer to home. And, um, you know, again, we got a little counsel and thought a lot more about it. And, realize or not giving her the chance to explore what she really wants and where she wants to go um, wouldn't be fair and wouldn't be the right decision. So um, I'm so glad that she's gotten the chance, you know, to go out to California, um, spend time in what I consider the probably the second best greatest city in the world after New York City, San Francisco. Um, and went and looked at some really nice colleges there and on the way back stopping in Denver um, to look at the school. And I really changed my mind. I really thought like, I want my daughter close to me. You know, my son goes to school in Philadelphia and he's home at the drop of a hat within two hours and I love that. I would love that for Lindsay too, but you know, I can't, I can't take that away from her. And I think back to myself, you know, I did so much of the things and the great, wonderful things that I did in my life were because I let myself follow my dreams and follow things that I wanted to do and live life, you know, life, love, and laughter, you know, and, and everything there is, you know, and whatever happens after. Um, that might sound familiar. I just stole those lines from a Donovan Frankenreiter song which I totally love. And it totally made me think of this because, you know, when I was 18, I didn't go right to college. Um, in 1981, you know, um, I, I wanted to go to California. I mean, I thought that's what everybody did, you know. You know, after reading all the, you know, Jack, Jack Kerouac and everything else and the, and the whole Bay Area movement and all the, the music I was reading about and, the Grateful Dead and tours and, you know, and gosh. Um, so that's what I did. I jumped in my, my, my 280Z 2 Plus 2. My girlfriend had moved out there at the time. And I drove 3,000 miles, you know, right after graduating high school to California. And I lived out there for two years on my own. Um, my parents didn't want me to do that, you know. Um, but that was an experience that I, you know, I'll always have and can't take, got taken away from me. Um, and um, there have been so many things like that. And um, I really believe that, that um, we all need to experience that. You know, if we don't, we're really going to regret it. Uh, again, you know, strive to, you know, I'm so glad she's going to college and striving to get that education. Follow your own path and live life and love and laughter, everything else between, and then whatever happens after. That to me is um, is 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 what we should strive to do, and that's what I hope for my kids. You know, you don't want to have regrets that you didn't do things after it's too late. 
And so, you know, I look back in my life, things that I've experienced, and uh, I'm pretty happy. I've done a lot, and I want that for my kids. And and I say that to to you and other people because when you, when you don't when you're not faced with a big challenge, you know, or, or something, and life just seems like it goes by every day, minute by minute, second by second. You don't think about the things that you. There's so many things you want to do. You're like, oh, I want to do that. I need to do that. But then you put it off. You put it off till another year, or you put it off till another. Year, and it just and you know what? In the end, you don't do it, and you may not do it. You know, and you may not get to experience it. But you know what? Do it, man. Just do, there, there's nothing else more important than just to follow your gut. Sometimes experience life to the fullest, visit all the wonders of the world if you can, every state park, take long drives, jump out of an airplane. I mean, that's not for me, but you know, other things are whatever it is for you. And for Lindsay, I hope you pick the cause of your dreams and you make of it whatever you're gonna make of it. And I'm gonna be happy no matter where you go. You know, and you'll always be there with me. And I can't wait to see Lindsay uh, and see what she thinks about these uh, schools on the West Coast and and um, see what she chooses for whatever comes next in the next chapter of her life. And whatever it's going to be, I'm going to be so proud of her and so happy for her, um, as I am with Ryan right now. Um, just my message to everyone, man, find that... Find your find that way to live your life. Fill yourself with laughter. Fill yourself with love. Whatever happens after, it's gonna be hopefully the greatest thing you'll ever have even dreamed of doing. So anyway, that's just my little spiel for a Wednesday. And um I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.